Hey guys, Alton here. First off, I want to say thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. And for today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at one of my selected lectures from my best selling 10 and a half hour introduction to information security management course. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. In this video, we're going to talk about the CIA triad. So what is the CIA triad? Well, the CIA triad stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So it doesn't stand for the Central Intelligence Agency. It's not related to the U.S. federal government at all in spies or anything like that. When we talk about information security and cybersecurity, it deals with three core principles, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So what do all these mean? Well, I know that they have their basic meanings, and this is really what cybersecurity is founded upon. If you think about these three different things, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, and if you think about them being three different pillars, then you can think about these things being the three pillars of our foundations of information security. Um, when we're building up information security in terms of building up information security management and an information security program, we need to have these three different core principles in place. And all three are equally important. So if you think about these three different pillars holding up your foundation, if any of one of them are weak, if any one of them are not working properly, then we're going to have issues with our foundation when we're talking about information security. So let's talk about these in detail. Let's talk about confidentiality, integrity, and availability in detail. And we're going to start off talking about confidentiality. So what's the purpose of confidentiality? Well, its name as what it is, what it implies. Um, the main goal is to prevent unauthorized disclosure of information. And the key word here is unauthorized, so I'm going to highlight that. So we want to prevent unauthorized disclosure of information. Um, and that's what it comes down to. We only want the people that should have access to it to be able to get access to it. So we want to prevent unauthorized access, but we want to allow authorized access. So how do we do this? Uh, well, we use several different methods and here's some of the main ones we use authentication so for example if you log into your computer you have to use a username and a password to get onto the network basic authentication access controls we put those in place to determine who gets access to what and we have proper access to different things and then we use cryptology which is things such as hashing and encrypting data to ensure that the data is protected and safe and so unauthorized people that may be trying to get access to it can't get access to it. So that's an overview of confidentiality. Now let's talk about integrity. So what do we need when we talk about integrity? So we talked about confidentiality, making sure that people that shouldn't have access to data don't get access to it. Integrity means that when we have data, whether it's data in rest, meaning it's just sitting on a server or it's sitting on a hard drive somewhere or sitting on some sort of a piece of medium, maybe a USB thumb drive, um, or if it's data in use, meaning it's going across the network, um, whether it's data at rest or data in use, we need to verify that that data has not been modified or tampered or corrupted. So there's a lot of key words in here and I wanna highlight all, all three of the important ones. So modified, tampered, or corrupted. So what do we mean here? Well, we want to make sure that only the people that should be able to modify the data are modifying it. And people that are, are unauthorized to do so, they can't modify or they can't tamper or they can't corrupt the data. And there's one way that we do that, and this is called hashing. And hashing is a way to check that data hasn't been modified. Um, it's a cryptographic um, algorithm, and pretty much the way it works is that you input a file and it gives you what is called a hash, which is an output of numbers and, and letters and so forth. And then if you have that on one side, and if you want to check it later, you can run that algorithm again, and the hash should be the same. And if it isn't the same, then it means that the data has been modified or corrupted or tampered with. So that's integrity. So we talked about confidentiality and integrity. And now let's talk about the last important pillar of the CIA triad, availability. So availability is 
just like it, its name implies. We want to make sure that our information, our data, and everything that we have on our network and IT infrastructure is available when it's needed. And so this is important, available when it's needed. So if you are a financial institution, say you're a bank, and people are going to be accessing your systems 24-7 worldwide, then your availability needs are 24 times 7. You need to be up 100% of the time. Now, let's say that you're a small business and you only do business from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Well, then maybe your availability only needs to be between those working hours from 8 to 5. And then after that, you can be offline. So it's all about making sure it's available when it's needed. And this is going to differ drastically from one organization to the next. Now, how do we make sure that information is available when we need it? Well, we have different measures for confidentiality and integrity that's going to help ensure that information is available. But in terms of overall availability, we can put redundancy in place. And we'll talk about redundancy in this course, such as having backups for your servers if they go down, having alternative building office sites if there's natural disaster and so forth so there's a lot of different ways that we can build levels of redundancy into our business organization and our IT infrastructure and so that's how we ensure availability so just summing up this lecture was all about the CIA triad confidentiality integrity and availability and remember that they are all equally important so if you're ever taking an exam or if somebody asks you in class, well, which one is most important? Is confidentiality the most important? Is integrity the most important? Or is availability the most important? Um, if they're asking you that, then you need to think, well, they're all equally important. Um, it's a trick question trying to get you to say one's more important than the other because let's think about this. Let's, let's actually think about this a bit more further before I end this lecture. So what happens if we remove availability? So I'll just go ahead and circle availability. So what happens if we get rid of availability? What if happens if it's no longer available? And I'll just cross it out with an X. Then what's the point of having confidentiality and integrity in place if your data isn't available? There really isn't any reason. Um, the same thing goes for if we take out confidentiality. What happens if anybody can access your data, those that aren't authorized? What's the point of having availability and integrity if you're not providing confidentiality of your data. So you see what I'm getting at here? Um, you can't have one without the other. So you can't have confidentiality and integrity without availability. You can't have availability and integrity without confidentiality. All three go hand in hand. So just think about that as we go throughout this course. Think about these three core principles of the CIA triad because they really are at the foundation of everything that we think about when we think about information security within organizations and businesses. So that's going to go ahead and sum up this lecture. If you have any questions about the CIA, tri CIA triad, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next lecture. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.